Hello, everyone. My name is Fan Jian from Huawei's marketing team. It's a great pleasure for me to make this short presentation on NB IoT, as we are celebrating a new journey starts from 100 million. In January 2020, the global connections of NB IoT reached the 100 million milestone, a strong signal of NB IoT's continuing exponential growth. It's predicted by counterpoint that NB IoT will account for 45% of cellular IoT connections in the year of 2025, with 2.2 billion connections. Behind the numbers are the prosperity of the entire MB IoT ecosystem and diverse industrial applications. For example, we now have over 1,500 partners, more than 20 MB IoT chipset vendors, and 180 plus modules. There are four use cases achieved 10 million level connections including the typical LPWA applications like smart water and gas metering, and the relatively new applications such as smoke detectors and electric bikes. In addition to that, there are seven milling level applications and many emerging ones such as smart appliances, street lights, tracking, door locks, pause machines, TV set-top boxes, to name a few. In the future, we are excited to see more and more innovative applications empowered by MB IoT. According to the latest GSMA tracker, there are 92 MB IoT networks commercially deployed in more than 60 countries and regions, among which 40 of them have achieved nationwide coverage. The number of MBLT networks is roughly three times of the EMTCs. So MBLT is indeed the widest LPWA network in the world. As we're entering the 5G era, many of you may wonder, what is the relationship between MBLT and 5G? What happens to the currently deployed MBLT applications in the future? The answer is that, MB IoT will be part of 5G as it has been accepted by ITU as an official 5G LPWA candidate. Actually, MB IoT will be pioneering well ahead of other 5G components. The existing applications will be smoothly carried over to 5G networks. So there is no need to worry about the investment going wasted, no need to halt the deployment or wait for 5G. On the other side, 2G is stepping down. In order to save OPEX and increase spectrum efficiencies, 27 operators worldwide have decommissioned 2G networks and 35 more have planned to shut down 2G in 2019. Legacy 2G IoT services may become a burden. With similar module prices, yet better performances, MB IoT is capable of taking over 2G IoT services and help operators exit 2G networks more gracefully. This page is an overview of MB IoT global applications. There are more than 6 million connections outside of China. I will share some more detailed cases in the following slides. Smart metering is a typical MB IoT use case due to its excellent performance in providing deep coverage and reducing power consumptions. It may not hit the headlines as many other 5G applications, but it does transform our life with each water and gas meter deployed. For example, Itagas Riti installed 5,000 MBLT smart gas meters at the same locations where GPRS signals failed and obtained 97% communication rate immediately. This impressive result convinced them to deploy 1 million more smart gas meters with MBLT. Another example is smart water meters in Intensity, China. Leakage reduction is greatly reduced in addition to the excellent online rate. 
Two million tons of water is saved each year. By giving intelligence to these meters, NBLT is making our society more sustainable and environmentally friendly. NBLT can also be utilized to give us better security. For example, smoke detectors are an integral part of our daily lives, and it can be a total game changer when they are empowered with NBLT connections. Timely notifications can be sent to smartphones, which is really helpful when there is nobody around when a fire occurs. This gives us precious time to handle fire at the early stages. And if the situation becomes severe, fire alarms can be escalated to nearby fire stations, which greatly improve the efficiency of city firefighting. A win-win business model is developed with operator at the center to provide network services, and many other parties are also effectively engaged. This NBLT smart fire control solution is well recognized and has gained quick massive deployments. It also won the GSMA GLOMO Award for the best mobile innovations for smart cities on February 25th this year. And the judge's comment is a focused and well-tested smart city solution. Last mile transportation management can also adopt NBLT. As you may have noticed, there are increasingly more and more shared bikes and e-scooters in cities around the globe. It's a booming industry with great market potential. However, they're also causing many city management issues, such as theft of crimes, traffic accidents, and fires. With NBLT, these problems can be well addressed. In Zhengzhou City, 3 million electric bikes are equipped with NBLT modules. Smart APPs and IoT platforms are also developed in addition to the business models. As a result, the retrieval rate of stolen vehicles was improved from 10% to 78%. So the city's traffic management is much more efficient. Appliance manufacturers can also benefit from NBLT. In this case, the Chinese manufacturer, Hire, use NBLT in its product life circle and supply chain management. They also promoted a new sharing economy that by providing free laundry machines and air conditioners to more than 200 universities, students can make appointments to book laundry, to use air conditioners, and then pay online. Everything can be done through their APP on smartphones. The ROI of this pay-as-you-go business model turns out to be very good, and Hire is planning to deploy more pieces of this shared appliances. MBLT also gained usage in the modernization of mold management at factories. Traditional way of mold management relies on manual checks. Therefore, it is easy to have quality issues and delays. MBLT and sensor technologies together bring mold management to the digital era. The usage and location of each mold piece is automatically tracked and logged in a timely manner. In this case, the fault rate is reduced by 42%, and the after-sales cost is reduced by 33%. NBLT is making our production more efficient. As mentioned before, NBLT can replace 2G IoT services. Here is the breakdown of IoT use cases that currently run on 2G networks in China. For instance, POS machine transactions and shared bikes require low latency, whereas car POS installs require high mobility. We have done thorough tests on these key factors, both in labs and in fields. 
and the results are convincing that NB-IoT is ready to replace top 2G IoT applications. Chipsets are at the heart of the NB-IoT industry, and Huawei never ceased to be the cutting-edge technology leader. Bodica 120 is the first commercial NB-IoT chip. Bodica 150 has become the power engine that drives massive NB-IoT applications. So far, over 40 million Bodica series chips have been shipped throughout the world, covering more than 50 countries and 70 operators. With the release of Bodica 200 this year in 2020, which is featured with the state-of-the-art technology evolution, high integration, increased security, and more openness, MBLT will start a new journey from 100 million and embrace billing connections. And this comes to the end of my presentation. Thank you for listening and feel free to contact me at gemfan31 at huawei.com if you have any questions. Thank you.